Hi, I'm Henry Segerman. And I'm Sabata Matsumoto. And this is Geared Cuboctahedral Jitterbug. So this is a kind of jitterbug. So we'll show you sort of the original jitterbug in a second. So that is, it's kind of a, a polygonal, a polyhedron, um, whose faces that we've turned into X's and Y's, and uh, they're hinged at the corners of those faces, at the ends of the X and the Y, um, so that it can rotate, well, different parts of it rotate in this interesting way, and it expands and contracts as it goes. So this is related to um, our previous work on the what well, we just called this geared jitterbug. This is the original jitterbug um, designed by uh, Buckminster Fuller. We added the gears. And what this does is it's got eight triangular faces, uh, which we've turned into Ys, and then it expands out like this, opening up. It adds sort of new um, uh, square holes. And if you sort of put all of those triangles and the new squares together, you get a cube octahedron which is what, let's see if I can line this up, which is the same as this thing over here. So uh, the start position of the new one, the cube octahedral gear jitterbug, has the triangles in the same place. And where the squares opened up here, we now have new faces. All right, so what you might not be able to see very clearly is that um, these gears have a very interesting shape. They're not circular. And that's because as this expands, so this is the original um, cube octahedral shape, and you can imagine that there's um, a line connecting this face to the center, and as that rotates, the faces move out. And so what's going on is that in that rotation, uh, the triangle has to move by 60 degrees, whereas the square has to move by 45 degrees, going from the closed state to the maximum open state. Um, and the reason that the gears are a funny shape is that those aren't moving at a constant rate. So the way we solve for the shape of the gears is that as the triangle uh, rotates and the face moves out, we need to guarantee that the vertex of the triangle and the vertex of the neighboring square face that are connected through the gear um, are always meeting in the same place in space. So that gives us a relationship between the relative rotation rate of the triangle to the rate of the square. And using that, we were able to uh, solve for the profile of the gear. So here is an animation that shows the gears are clearly acircular and their profiles encode the rotation that is required for the um, geared cube octahedral jitterbug to uh, expand smoothly throughout its motion. This uh, gear jitterbug technique should generalize to uh, any polyhedron that has even vertex degree. You need an even number of faces meeting at the vertex because they alternate which way they rotate. Um, but other than that, so we think it should work for anything you want to try. So this is cuboctahedral geared jitterbug. Thanks for watching.